Hey what's up everyone, Alex Ward here with Eternal Guitars and Pickups and today we're not actually going to be looking at a specific guitar, we're going to be looking at a pickup and the pickup in question is the rather magnificent GST Humbucker. Now you might be asking yourself, GST, what on earth does that stand for? Well you might know that me and Dave are massive action movie fans, especially the classics from the 80s and early 90s um, and the name for this pickup comes from one of those movies. I want to see if you guys can guess what it is. So in the comments if you think you know what um, what it is by all means uh, leave a comment and tell us I'll give you a hint it's a classic Schwarzenegger movie from the 80s that's all I'm gonna say but let's talk about the pickup now as you can see I've not actually got an eternal guitar in my hand I've got my 1993 Les Paul classic and the reason for this is that if you were to buy this pickup as a standalone humbucker to upgrade your own guitar I want to kind of give you an idea of what it might sound like you know in a classic sort of um, humbucker style guitar um, now this pickup is actually my favorite pickup on God's Green Earth so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mostly use the 93 classic um, but it's actually in pretty much all of my other guitars as well so what I have here as you can see next to me I've got uh, my eternal guitars I've got Murtor Riggs and Getz um, they all have the GST in the bridge position um, so we're also going to compare how they sound um, between the uh, four guitars because the Les Paul is an all mahogany build um, with a Les Paul shape obviously um, Riggs and Murtor these all have their own separate videos by the way but Riggs and Murtor are both all mahogany builds but in an S type shape um, the difference between the two being that Murtor has 24 frets and a slightly modified um, body shape uh, as well as a slightly chunkier neck as well so um, it should affect the tone um, a, a slight amount um, and Getz is an alder body with a maple neck so between the four guitars there should be um, a subtle but noticeable tonal difference um, even though we're still using the GST pickup in all of them. Now the GST, a little bit of history on the GST when I first uh, got involved with Eternal Guitars, I ordered a custom S-Type from Dave and that was Riggs, it turned into Riggs. Um, and the question arose, what pickups are we going to put into it? And in the bridge position, I asked Dave if he could um, do a bridge humbucker that was based on the humbucker that was originally in this 93 Les Paul Classic. Played it all the time, loved it to bits. So Dave obliged, he said no problem at all, he worked his magic and he came up with a pickup which is head and shoulders above the pickup that was originally in this guitar, I believe. Um, so we have what is essentially a hot PAF style pickup um, which has a little extra grunt to it. Um, it's got a very open musical voice, I love it, I think it sounds kind of chewy, I don't know, there's just something about it which I really really dig. Um, it has a DC output which is approximately 10.5k, it uses the Alnico 2 magnet, uh, it's wax potted as well because I play at ridiculous volumes, just loud brash rock and roll and so um, an unpotted pickup just wouldn't really uh, suit me in that kind of um, environment. Uh, and it's actually available, um, it, you can see here it's a nickel covered pickup, uh, but it's available open in all black, in cream um, and also the sort of very rock and roll zebra um, configuration too. Um, I'm going to, like I say, compare all of these guitars. I'm also going to show you the um, blend position on this guitar because in the neck we have the Eternal Guitars and Pickups uh, PAF replica. So the blend between these two pickups is really, really delicious. So I want to show you that as well. Um, so we're going to start off with the 93 Classic and then compare all the other guitars. Um, so why don't we just see how they sound? <laughs>
there you have it, the GST compared between three Eternal guitars and this 93 Les Paul Classic, and also a selection of tones and riffs on the 93 Les Paul Classic uh, on its own. Um, I think this pickup is just marvellous. It really is my favourite pickup of all time. I have it in all of my humbucker equipped guitars. Um, it's just... I don't know, it just speaks to me. It really is voiced for how I play and how I've always envisioned a humbucker tone to sound. So I love it to bits. Uh, I hope you guys love it too. If you want to get one for your own guitar, by all means contact Dave at the workshop. You can get hold of him via phone or email um, and he'll knock you one of these up and send it out to you so you can um, upgrade your guitar with this humbucker. But that's all there is to it. Until next time, take it easy.